we are live now we can start the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page good evening everyone i akansha bora will be your host for today's session on tourist studies as an academic and research discipline in higher education institutions of assam and its professional prospects first of all i would like to welcome our special guest and today's speaker Dr. Satyadi Das, welcome, sir. Um, I would you. like to start. Okay. Uh, I would like to start the session with a brief description about energy. Energy remains an invisible bond of love. It signifies un unconditional love. It is a non-profit uh, organization which was formed in 2018, uh, which was founded in 2018 by Melinda Dutta. Energy engages and promotes various initiatives that are striving for social change, honing leadership skills and building entrepreneurship capabilities in the northeastern region of India. Energy is, in, is involved in field ac activities like education, gender and uh, sexuality, art and craft, animal welfare, environment, and many more. Now, I would like to give a brief description about our today's speaker. Dr. Satyajit Das served as an international panelist, come speaker in the International World Tourist Conference at Chiang Mai City, Thailand. In 2019, organized by WCTA, WCA, Korean Academic Society for Culture and Tourism. He was awarded with research excellence by Institute of Scholars Bangalore, India, for his internationally recognized and certified high quality research in the field of folklore and cultural heritage tourism. Dr. Das acted as a panelist in various talk shows in electronic media and TV channels, including DA News Plus, DY365, and as speaker on issues of society, culture, environment and educational at all radio or all, all indian radio india radio guwahati dr das is also a well-known writer of various memorable memorable and colorful travel logs presently he has been serving as an assistant teaching faculty in the department of tourism and travel management at today's university palaji Assam. He also served as an academic counselor for the Diploma in Elementary Education course under Krishna Kanta Hendik State Open University. <clears throat> Guwahati in its study center at Paschim Guwahati Mahavidyalaya and Dharapur from 2012 to 2016. Now I would like to, uh, uh, now over to sir. Sir? Yeah. Thanks, sir. You can cut. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Akansha. Okay. Uh, <coughs> could, I, uh, could I audible to all of you? Could I audible? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, then, uh, <coughs> uh, first of all, uh, <coughs> thank you so much for your nice invitation. Uh, from your organization that is called Amazuri and a sociocultural organization, I think, and of Guwahati, a renowned sociocultural organization. Uh, basically, uh, Giti Smita uh, had uh, called to me for inviting and delivering a talk uh, through an online mode. And thank you very much, Giti Smita and all Doritri and all of your Amazuri team to select me to deliver some uh, topic that is very essential and very important uh, from the point of view of uh, <coughs> higher education scenario of India and Assam. Uh, uh, at first, um, uh, <coughs> I am very sorry that I am not uh, physically very well today because I have been suffering from a throat infection for the last four and five days. I am taking, I am taking 
some antibiotics and cough syrups from my doctor's pain and all these things because <laughs> I'm very sorry because I have my, my voice modulation is uh, not uh, up to you when I very uh, well to <laughs> to listening for everyone and so I'm very sorry to, for your my voice <laughs> basically I am suffering from a have been suffering from a throat uh, infection. Then, uh, so, uh, uh, <clears throat> first of all, I am going to be sharing the slides, please, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to share this. I want to please share the slides. slides. <clears throat> okay, thank you. <clears throat> so, a very good evening to all of you and uh, all the audiences and uh, my dear uh, colleagues, students, and uh, team of Anazuri. Uh, the tourism studies as an academic and research discipline in higher educational institution of Assam and its professional prospects. Uh, I am, am I able to talk uh, both languages? Assam is an English or bilingual or only English? Could I, could I proceed? With, uh, oh, yes, sir. You can report to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Please share the slides. Please slide. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Please. Yeah. Tourism studies as an academic and research discipline in higher educational institutions of Assam and its professional prospects. Tourism. Tourism and travel. Basically, tourism and travel in a general concept is a common concept that we must have some perception. We must have some ideas about that. That is, it is an industry where the visitors, the travelers, or the tourists come from one place to the another, one area to the another area, one nation to the another nations, <coughs> one region to the another regions or to see, visit, and experiencing new things, new sites, new places, and gather information and knowledge and go back to this, this original place of residence. So tourism is an industry. Tourism and travel is always considered as an industry. So we do not have any perception, we do not have any concept, we do not have any issues that how the tourism is also a very high academic and research discipline in comparison to the other developed or Western countries or the, our nearest South Asian nations those countries and nations have already far away from its academic and research point of view in comparison to these our nations, India. So in India, we, the common people, have thought that the tourism is an industry and there is no need, there is no needed, there is no uh, <clears throat> There is no any essentiality to study about that tourism. The tourist or the men come from the other places, other regions, other states, other countries to see and uh, gather knowledge, information, and back to the, his uh, original place of residence. So it is also it is always related with that transportations, accommodations, attractions. It is always related with the travel agencies, which is always related with the tour operators. It is holistically, it is also considered as a tourism management. It is also a management. So, but it is <clears throat> up to us how we have dealt in this connotation in this word that is called tourism. So, for being a tourism <coughs> academics for being a student or for being a researcher of tourism, we must have some concept about 
the for building up a tourism industry of a nation of a state the educational or the education of or the education of or the learning of some aspects and issues related which it is very essential so tourism studies is very essential for a nation to build up a tourism industry because tourism industry is a very low investment high profit industry smokeless industry so it touched all it touched all of the people all of the classes of the society we do not see the different issues and different aspects of tourism rather than tourism is an industry it is only related with or only associated with the travel transportation accommodation hospitality etc etc and beyond that some other issues and aspects are always related with it and that is uh that is called the tourism academics and that is called the tourism studies and why the tourism study is very essential for a, a citizen of a country so in this topic as an academic and research discipline in higher educational institution of assam and its professional prospect uh <clears throat> first one slide, slide please next slide please yeah introduction importance of tourism in india as we know all of you know the importance of tourism why uh, or how the tourism can be a very uh, <clears throat> big industry and a very lucrative and a very attractive industry for india because in case of india we we know that we all of you know that the india is a multi religious multi racial multi <clears throat> linguistic countries so there are different peoples of their religious or different religious background different racial backgrounds are in are living or are residing in the different places of the countries some may be in hills some may be in mountains some may be in terrain some may be in plains some may be in coastal areas some may be in uh, uh, desert areas some of them in mountainous areas or plateau areas the geographical diversity has been created the linguistic diversity and all this diversity has been created a ecological or geographical diversity or ecological diversity have been created the cultural diversity the cultural diversity is a very essential and core aspect of our india that is called unity in diversity there are a lot of cultural heritage and traditions art forms artifacts of the different communities different races different tribes non tribes have been seen in the very long past to the present days and it is it, it this type of characteristics this type of pattern of cultural trend have been reflected that india is a very multicultural country so <clears throat> in india the geographical diversity or geographical <coughs> ecological diversity nature and also its as i have said to you that the cultural heritage tradition the cultural diversity the folklore the ethnic diversity the religious diversities and its uh, components and resources have been <clears throat> evolved as a good resources for attraction of tourism attraction of tourists from the different parts of the world so tourism is a very largest revenue earner of india for india so through the tourism we can what well, through the tourism we can economically socio economically socio culturally and also the socio politically developed or uplifted 
because the we, we, we must know in basic forms that tourism is also related with this call this call the employment generator the generation of employment in different <coughs> different aspects of the tourism industries like travel agencies tour operators hotels hotelers accommodation facilities lodges etc etc transportations maybe is airlines maybe railways maybe in this all uh, uh, this called the buses taxis and also cars and also all these things that is for cruise river cruise or others and also the accommodation specifics hotels different types of hotels heritage hotels or is called five star seven star general hotels lodges guest houses etc etc uh, this cottages all these things in different places different parts of india and also the uh, this is called this accommodation attraction sightseeing facilities are there travel guides are there there are a lot of opportunities to <coughs> get employment and also the sources of uh, earning must be initiated by the promotion and evolution of tourism in india so tourism studies and introduction so why <coughs> tourism studies is essential for india kyonu amar bharat borkhot porjatan ajjan tourism why tourism studies is because tourism in 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 center or in central government and state government uh, tourism have some department like the ministry of tourism the assam uh, sorry india tourism development corporations on on different states like different corporations different <clears throat> uh, uh, like in assam assam tourism development corporation the directorate of tourism ministry of tourism in public sectors in sorry in public sectors in private sectors there are a lot of agencies ngos mm, travel agencies mm, accommodation agencies transportation agencies have uh, exercised their tourism activities so if we do not have any knowledge on if we do not have any basic knowledge about the tourism why tourism is initiated and how the tourism is uh is a is a part of every aspects of every aspect means society social cultural economic politics and all as this aspect all these aspects are associated and related and all these aspects are hardly passed by this all the classes of the people in our society in our nation so how it it has related or associated so uh, in this case uh one thing is that that india one of the developing economies india is one of the developing economies in the assam can i uh, can i audible to all of you is there any disturbing or disturbances is there any disturbances can i audible hello can i audible to all of you yes sir oh is there any disturbances no no sir no. no okay 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 please start slide first slide <coughs> okay then india one of the developing economies in asian nations or asian continent is emerging as a major hub and making its presence in all sorts of developmental activities it is becoming a favored destination for all sectors all sectors means industry agriculture or for all sectors for the foreign investors or all these things or tourism due to the positive environment and on the untiring human resources the presence of successful educational institutions educating the unnecessary sorry necessary men for would take sufficient credit to get a claim as a most favored destination so one thing is that the unesco unesco united nations education scientific and cultural organization unesco has stated on tourism or about the tourism 
that is called, uh, I just read out this statement, that's called, which sociological, according to UNESCO, with sociological and cultural effects, it has become a phenomenon of civilization with sociological and cultural effects. It has become a phenomenon of civilization and at such warrants detailed ethnographic and historical attention. <coughs> attention. So in this statement, the International Education and Scientific and Cultural Organization has highlighted that the tourism had some socio-cultural impact. Tourism had some environmental impacts. Tourism had some impact on man and people of a country, of a region, of a state, of the local areas. And it is the connected, this, this phenomenon, this tourism is a phenomenon, it is connected with the civilization and such what is the ethnographic historical attention. The history, the ethnography or ethnographical diversity or ethnological diversity is always related with this tourism. Hmm. So this is called the according to the UNESCO. So uh, according to uh, UNESCO, we have stated that with sociological and cultural effects, it has become a phenomenon of civilization. I mean, homogenic or hospitic follower logote, a phenomenon to a polygotona to who is a the portrait on a lot of polygotona tar, a more homogenic or hospitic key takibo tar, prohop takibo, or a polygotona key polibo, theata hot potar logot, man of hot potar logot, e hodai key zoito hui polibo, aro yar logot key polibo, the key zoito hui takibo, the gusti goto, aro oitiha, ba itiha or ziak. Bikoi was to a because was to Yarla, but Hadai going to wait a people. For Jadana Buhutu donor, Prohop Takio Pare, or he Prohomor became Danu the Amar Hamadic, Hanskitic, or was a socio cultural Amar impact as a Tikeneke, Polybehi impact as a Tikeneke Amar Prohavase, Tikeneke Amar, or Tonoitic, economic Amar impact as a Puriki Ekine Kota, UNESCO, and a Portadona report of Poise. Utike, Etia Kotato Hulk is a tourism Amar Potom topic to Asile, the tourism Yasile, the the studies as an academic and research discipline in higher education institution of Assam and its professional aspects, particularly Assam or report for the US. As an academic and research discipline, several decades ago, <clears throat> tourism in India is only considered as an industry. It is not considered uh, as a part of academic or research. So it is very difficult to <clears throat> say about the essence of tourism studies. It is very difficult to say about the characteristics of tourism studies. It is very difficult to say about the, its impacts of tourism and how it is related with the society and so, social aspects, socio-cultural aspects, socio-political aspects, and socio-economic aspects. We just, as a layman, we know that the tourism means some people come from the outside and see the, all our things living in hotels, and uh, <clears throat> and eating some uh, our local cuisines or etc cetera, etc cetera, visiting our markets then go back to their homes so <clears throat> there was nothing or there is nothing to learn or there is nothing to study about the tourism uh, as academic disciplines in higher educational institutions not only as a, not only as some as in india also but why tourism studies is or tourism studies had been introduced as an academic discipline for providing some diploma or postgraduate post, post diploma courses or certificate courses in some universities and colleges. 
in order to attain some demand from the tourism industry or its stakeholders in India uh, two or uh, three or four decades, decades ago. Uh, it has started with the vocational training courses, the vocational courses. And before I go to this uh, uh, institutional uh, framework or institutional background, we must say that tourism study or studies is a newly emerging academic discipline in the global arena. In global arena, it is a very newly ac <coughs> emerging academic discipline and it is supported to the most important, <coughs> supposed to be the most important discipline for the socio-cultural as well as socio-economic development and prosperity. The international political, economic, and cultural relations and regional development and cooperation and as prosperity are achieved through promotion and development of what? Promotion and development of tourism among the nations. So some important features that is called the regional cooperation, international relations, <coughs> and development, economic development, Socio-cultural, socio-economic development, prosperity. This, these are the very important and very special features for a nation. And all these have been achieved through promotion and development of tourism. So actually, tourism studies is a discipline which deals with a systematic and scientific study of various aspects <coughs> and relation aspects of other tourism and travel, and it related and pertinent with the travel and tourism industry. Tourism or Parjatan Aru Bhaman Uddugar Lagad Zurita Vivinna Vikhoi Bastur Hamparke Asalate Vidyad Khan Mata Aru Pranali Baddha Habe Amizhi Oidhan Kori Bola Gya Hetiya Vise Parjatan Oidhaya Barasalate In Pair. So, the idea is that we have to do this, 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 we have to do this. The management, tourism management, we have to do this, 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 we have to do this. So, we have to do this, 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 the Amiri academic discipline is a very good thing because he started the Ami Amusikar, Pakistan, Onustan Homohot, Ami Maratore Kotadoku, Amiri to Puribulogia Hoi, Bami Cable Management, Bakable Purisalama, the most upon the corporate Ami Axale, no hobo. So to study the tourism courses or to attain the tourism degrees. The courses and syllabi of India or Indian higher education institutions, including all the states, those have uh, provided the tourism degrees in higher education institutions like colleges and universities. So, all the syllabus have some common features and they have prepared for all the educationists or academicians of uh, <coughs> Academician of these uh, countries have prepared the tourism syllabus from the point of view of management, from the point of view of <coughs> management or uh, managerial aspects. But there is another very important aspect that is called tourism is a social science. <coughs> tourism is a social science. Why it is called as a social science? Because every aspect of society, every aspect of society are related with tourism. The people cannot assume, the people cannot, uh, <coughs> the people cannot take it as a uh, correct statement because the people, not only the common people, most of the educated or most of the academician also, today's academicians have also some perception about that. The tourism is totally a management or many, uh, totally a management. From the point of view of management, it has been studied from it has been 
uh, studied or learned or taught. But in Western or in development, uh, development country or developed countries, it is not assessed or it is not studied or it is not <clears throat> learned as a only management subject. It is not learned or it is not studied from the point of view of managerial aspects in Western or <laughs> European countries. Sorry. Why it is called a social science? Because if we consider a framework of social science, the social science, all the social science disciplines, like what? Like geography. Geography is a natural science, also a social science or human geography, social geography, etc. Et geography is always related with just tourism and history or heritage and heritage studies is always related with the tourism, historical trend, historical incidents, historical events of the different eras are very essential for the tourism studies. Culture, cultural aspects, cultural patterns, cultural resources are very essential for tourism. Folklore, ethnic groups, <coughs> sorry, ethnic groups, and also the various religions, purposes, religions, spiritual organizations, and also the economics, commerce, finance, anthropology, ethnology, sociology, environment, management, commerce. It's all subjects are related with this tourism. So this all subjects are associated with tourism and tourism are also <coughs> made some relationships with this all subject. The social aspects of all these subjects are the core theme of the tourism and tourism have been studied from the different aspects, from not only the management aspect, from the geographical aspects, from the historical aspects, cultural aspects, folklore aspects, and the heritage aspects, then the anthropological, sociological, and economics, finance, commerce, every aspect. So all these aspects are associated with the sense and development of a society of a country. Of a reason. So it is called as a social science. So, and in academics, tourism studies must be studied as a social science. Then it will be go to a very good product and very good resources for the tourism industry. So, next slide, please. Next slide, please. So some of the statements of the United Nations World Tourism Organization, United Nations World Tourism Organization, the headquarters of this United Nations World Tourism Organization is in uh, Madrid, Spain, and the present Secretary General of United Nations World Tourism Organization is Zurep Polilika Vili, a Georgian citizen. Uh, he is now uh, serving as a United Nations World Tourism Organization Secretary General. And another is that Mr. Antonio Gutierrez. Uh, he is all, uh, all of you know that he is now serving as a United Nations Secretary General. So <clears throat> both of these uh, uh, big leader, I say this big leader of the world or, or national uh, leader or international leader or international supreme organizations, or maybe United Nations World Tourism Organization is under organization of the United Nations. So, <coughs> Zura Pololi Kazfili has stated a very good quote uh, recently. He stated, this around the world in countries at all development levels, many millions of jobs and businesses are dependent on a strong and thriving tourism sector. Tourism has also been a driving force in protecting natural and cultural heritage, preserving them for future generations, uh, future generations 
টু এইখিনি কি হৈছিল ক্রিসমাস জেনারেশনস টু ক্রিসা জেনারেশনস টু ডিজার্ভিং দেম ফর ফিউচার জেনারেশন জেনারেশনস টু এন্টারটেইন অর সামথিং এলস সো ইন দিস অর ইন হিজ স্টেটমেন্ট he said that around the world in all in countries at all development levels many millions of jobs and businesses have been a strong and thriving tourism sector many millions many millions of jobs and businesses the many millions of jobs and businesses are dependent in this tourism sector thriving tourism sector and nextly he has stated a very important quote that is called has been a driving force a driving force in protecting national and cultural heritage preserving them for future generations to come so bhabishyat prajamor karone ami amar ki koribo leibo prakritik ar sanskritik sampad rajik ba sanskritik oitijya homok ami urakkhito aro sangrakkhito koribo leibo jibor ami bhabishyat prajamor amar kane aki ase aro antony gatras e koisile there is no time to waste let us rethink and reinvent tourism and together deliver a more sustainable prosperous and resilient future for all eto ki bisheketa ei ami covid 19 or amar porjaton uddog jitu bidhosto hoy goisil totally devastated by this called pandemic covid 19 so uh, in this context uh, antonio gatteris has said that as reaching and reinvent tourism and together deliver a more sustainable prosperous for sustainable prosperous and resilient future for all so both of this uh, world leader of the supreme organizations like united nations organizations and <clears throat> united nations world tourism organization have totally emphasized that tourism is becoming a prime and pivotal industry for the world and the tourism is or tourism has some responsibilities those people who are related with in this tourism industry as a business them as a uh, <clears throat> as a worker as a employer or as a researcher they have some important responsibilities and duties to preserve to protect this national cultural heritage for the future generations to come and it should be according to antonio gatteris in sustainable manner and in should be built as a sustainable prosperous and resilient future for all those future that will be very sustainable so we have must or we have utilized the resources in a sustainable manner through the practices of tourism in this world today then according to him the future generation will never be regretted for their shortages of resources it is called sustainable development and in this context or from the point of view of sustainable development antonio gatteris has said and also both this statement have connected or associated or touch the every aspects of this social every aspects of a nations uh, that is called as social cultural and economic uh, all these aspects have touched so they have emphasized very importantly about the for about the holistic aspects or holistic holistic approaches of tourism okay thank you this next slide so academic and research importance of tourism in india so academic importance in india okomor kotha to ahibo yate ahibo for assam so university grant commission ugc and this our recently the initiated or recently introduced that is called the new national education policy 2020 has recently patronized the introduction of what interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary applied as well as professional subjects 
applied, interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary applied as well as professional subjects in the higher educational institutions of like universities and colleges. Because of the reason that such subjects would have contributed that <clears throat> to the student community to become self-reliant through it, uh, they would be able to play a special role for the economic, cultural, and social development of a region of a nation. So in NEP or in uh, recently the UGC have given some importance on introduction of the multidisciplinary interdisciplinary subject in higher education institutions of India and uh, maybe in Assam. <clears throat> so in colleges and universities, uh, there will be some or already have some interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary subjects. So they have also, both NEP 2020 and UGC, University Grants Commission, have also emphasized time to time that applied and professional subject, applied uh, and, uh, sorry, professional subjects should be introduced in the colleges and universities. Well, <laughs> so, So professional subjects should be introduced in the colleges and universities of India and in order to <coughs> achieve or in order to attainment of uh, the self-reliant and uh, self-dependent uh, dependency in, uh, in uh, job oriented uh, in, in, in uh, <coughs> sustaining the life then that it would be able to play a special role for economic, cultural, and social development. The responsibility for the society, for the social cultural aspects, socioeconomic aspects, and social development should be learned through this type of tourism courses, maybe the interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary courses, applied courses or professional courses. As present all over the globe, tourism studies is an applied and professional subject. Its importance is much more and highly relevant. <clears throat> uh, I have already mentioned about the, the subjects, why it is called the social science. There are different subjects related with this, like I have already mentioned. And almost all these disciplines belong to social science and have made their interrelation with tourism. In recent period, tourism has been transformed and extended in the service sector. Uh, <coughs> in uh, eligibility criteria, I have mentioned very little about the eligibility criteria to get admission into uh, for the tourism courses in Indian colleges and universities. Uh, for the higher educational entries in India at UZ level, undergraduate level, BA, BCom, BSc, is uh, only the qualification is only the high secondary or 12 plus pass. And there are undergraduate level, PG level, diploma level, and certificate courses uh, for travel and tourism available to pursue in this discipline in the different universities and colleges in our country. Uh, there are many universities and colleges and institutions in India offering the certificate diploma, post, -dip uh, post graduate diploma, and postgraduate courses, including master degrees. <coughs> Courses in universities are available, and in Assam also, uh, we have seen in last two or one and a half decades some tourism and travel courses are introduced or were introduced in the different colleges and universities uh, in a very uh, in a vocational or uh, in a basically in a vocational manner. Uh, but it has been transformed into some uh, general courses under the different universities, degrees and undergraduate and postgraduate levels. But 
the tra travel and tourism studies has not been taken seriously in as a academic field in india uh, before two or three decades ago in assam also it is the same condition full fledged department of travel and tourism studies uh, under the uh, under the uh, director of higher education government of assam and also pg level in universities before the, before i go to the assam i have uh, let us tell about the some courses that has been offered to the students for uh, attaining some higher degrees like undergraduate degrees and uh, postgraduate degrees like jammu and <coughs> jammu and kashmir universities master of tourism and travel of management courses in two years, IITTM, Indian Institute of Tourism and Travel Management, Gwalior, Delhi, Bhubaneswar, Pondicherry University, Puducherry, Master of Tourism and Travel Management, Northeastern Hill University, Silong, Master of Tourism Management, <coughs> and Tespur Central University of Tespur. This Master of Tourism and Management. Previously, it was postgraduate diploma in Tourism and Travel Management under Business Administration Department. Uh, <coughs> Dibrugo University uh, has introduced the Master of Tourism Management courses. Now it is available or not, I don't know about this. Indira Gandhi National Open University has been offered very successfully the different uh, courses like certificate, diploma, uh, and Master of Tourism and Travel Management courses in distance mode, open and distance mode. Uh, so Assam Women's University of Jorhat. <clears throat> Has been offered uh, maybe the postgraduate diploma tourism and travel university in public sectors and in uh, uh, private sectors. Royal Global University and Downtown University has been uh, <coughs> continuing these courses like Master of Tourism Management courses and Downtown Universities also and also the Himachal Pradesh University of Simla, Benares Hindu University, Kasi Benares. Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh, Punjab University, Kerala Institute of Tourism and Travel Studies, National Institute of Tourism and Hotel Management, Hyderabad, Hospitality Management, and Center for Management Studies, Dibrugarh University also, and the Assam Institute of Management, Institute of Management Science, and the University of Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, Institute of Management Studies, Ghaziabad, Regional College of Management, uh, RCM, Humanitia, Urissa. So, all these institutions have uh, of the country. There are uh, there are many more <coughs> other colleges and universities, but we have just taken as an example for here. So, all these institutions, all these uh, universities and colleges have offered the master degree courses, PC diploma courses, and diploma courses. Igno have uh, offered the various courses, certificate diploma and master degree courses, PC courses. And also, the National Skill Qualification Temper under University Grants Commission have uh, been offered some uh, certificate or diploma courses, credit based <coughs> under the financial uh, support of the uh, of their UGC directly. And uh, so far as I know, uh, these type of institutions or these all these institutions have successfully offered these courses. And in basically in uh, Assam, basically in Ahom, Ahom already Kotha Kabole Kuahoi, Tenahale, it is introduced uh, in few decades ago or the two decades ago, maybe. It is called different colleges and under Guwahati University and Dibrugarh University. And uh, these courses, tourism courses, are running as a professional courses in, in art, science, and commerce streams. And also, PG courses like Master of Tourism Management has been introduced in Pragyotis College, Guwahati, under uh, Guwahati University and Dagirat College under Guwahati University. But unfortunately, no college this have the full fledged departments of travel and tourism studies under the director of higher education, government of Assam, and also the PG level in the universities. So all these courses are not uh, <clears throat> considered as a full-fledged courses, and this is uh, these courses are only uh, initiated and 
also the uh, in <coughs> uh, exercise uh, exercise as a uh, some uh, for some basic learning or or, or some uh, <coughs> UGC support based financial support based conditions all these things so it is very unfortunate uh, unfortunate for us that there is no any full present department of tourism and travel in the public sector universities and colleges in Assam, maybe in <coughs> private sector, but uh, in Tesper Central University has been introduced the full closet departments and Northeast and Hill University in Northeast. So uh, they have uh, very successfully running or uh, successfully run these courses. The <coughs> Religious Studies, which is a two or two two year full time program approved by the Minister of Tourism Government of India. Proficiency is at least one foreign language, foreign language, or Russian, French, Chinese, Spanish. These are the foreign languages. The proficiency of at least one foreign language is an added qualification or advantage. Apart a diploma in public relations in advertising, maybe applied for this job for the tourism. There are also many correspondent courses available in the field to pursue these tourism courses. Officers in directorate and departments of tourism are recruited from uh, among the units who have done the civil services, drawn from the civil administration services in the state and central governments. A degree in tourism and travel required for what? Operational jobs in government organizations. So, <clears throat> two things are left. That is called syllabi of tourism in India and scope of research, scope of research in tourism in India and abroad. These are the most very, very important and essential and very <coughs> good aspects. Uh, uh, one thing is that that is called uh, please. I don't know. Applications. Yeah. So syllabi of tourism studies in India. I have mentioned them. I, I have uh, gone through the many syllabuses of the different universities and colleges. All the syllabus, the core part, the core issues of the all the syllabus have seen as or the based on the managerial or management aspects. So if we compare the syllabus of other foreign universities like European countries, they have a lot of universities. The United States of America have a lot of universities. They have also uh, but they are also running the different courses of tourism in, 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 in higher educational institutions of their countries. And their focused area of syllabus for the tourism and travel are what, and our countries have what. If we go to <coughs> compare both countries or our India's tourism courses syllabus with the other countries tourism courses syllabus, we have highlighted or we have found some differences in, on the basis of or with respect to its contents and perspectives and aspects. Like in foreign universities, the basic framework of syllabus, the content is like that. In foreign universities, strategic management for tourism and hospitality and enterprises. In Indian universities, the basic content is tourism concepts and theories. In Indian universities, tourism resources. In foreign universities, it is taught as cultural heritage tourism or cultural tourism. In Indian universities, basic contents of a syllabus, like for the diploma courses, for uh, uh, general courses, undergraduate courses, or certificate courses, like in India, organizational behavior, but in foreign universities, it is called indigenous tourism issues. 
travel agency in Indian university and tour operations. But in foreign university, it is sort of the tourism policy and planning. Indian is ecotourism, but in foreign universities, festivals, environment, event management, sustainable tourism managing, and in India, in, in foreign urban tourism, international tourism in Indian universities, in behavioral studies in tourism in foreign universities, principles of management in Indian universities, in foreign universities, tourism psychology. Marketing for tourism in Indian universities, but in foreign universities, it is anthropology and tourism. Destination management in Indian universities, in <coughs> sociology of tourism. So meeting incentives, analysis of tourism resources, conferences and exhibitions, and entrepreneurship in tourism are in foreign universities, tourism research analysis. Ticketing special event management, in foreign universities event management, tourism geography, recreation, and in foreign university tourism planning. And foreign languages and in tourism and foreign universities professionally in tourism. Computer application in tourism in foreign universities, global issues and multicultural community management. Just like business communication in India, in foreign conference and convention management. And recreation and park management, human resource, Special interest tourism <clears throat> in airports and airlines management <clears throat> in foreign universities, sports tourism. So, <clears throat> in this comparison, we have thoroughly gone. If we have thoroughly gone through this contents, or there are, are always are also very lot of uh, contents and subject and aspects. We have only focused on basic contents who have or those have offered the basic courses in tourism and travel, the contents are always emphasized in India. It is called a managerial aspect. It is based on manager or management aspect. But in foreign universities, it is based on not only the management, but also the socio-cultural and socio-economic aspects. And this is the big differences of our university's tourism syllabi and other foreign countries, uh, universities, tourism, syllabi, basic, basic contents. And uh, tourism education is being considered as a forerunner in developing in the industry and developing the industry. Tourism education is the forerunner for developing the industry or develop, as a developed tourism industry of a nation, and it should be well planned and to meet the demand of accordingly and thus end up with good experience. The situation of India is not satisfactory, as discussed is one of the preceding part of the paper. So <coughs> in India, tourism is always taught or tourism is always learned in universities and colleges as a some professional or some man, uh, <clears throat> professional aspects or some management aspects they have or the tourism, the courses the contents of the courses have not properly based on socio cultural aspects so it is very uh, <clears throat> uh, difficult to say about the holistic approach and the interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary approach or the tourism as a social science have been or have been, <laughs> have been taught or studied or learned in colleges and universities in India. So scope of research in tourism in India and abroad. There are a lot of resources. There are a lot of resources. When I had traveled to Turkey in 2012 for participating in second interdisciplinary tourism research conference, so I had uh, delivered a paper on the cultural tourism in Assam, especially the its performing arts. There are a lot of countries, a lot of uh, nations have joined on, on that conferences. I have uh, specifically observed their perception, their research ethics, and their research orientations. 
গবেষণার যে কারণে যে চিন্তা চর্চা বা গবেষণার কারণে যে দর্শন ফিলোসফি এটা লাগে দ্যাট টাইপ অফ থিংকিং দ্যাট টাইপ অফ থটস দ্যাট টাইপ অফ ফোর সাইডনেস দ্যাট টাইপ অফ ফিলোসফি দ্য এনভারনমেন্ট দ্যাট হ্যাভ বিন ক্রিয়েটেড টু ইনিশিয়েট সাম হায়ার একাডেমিক রিসার্চ ইন দ্য ডিফারেন্ট এসপেক্ট অফ টুরিজম টুরিজম not only tourism is always based on this marketing and also management but also this type of concept or aspect that is called tourism marketing management has <coughs> have been totally what totally <coughs> exercised or totally executed for the socio cultural development of a particular area or a nation so they have taught in their universities as a too much socio cultural aspects and they have given the research orientations from the very beginning of the <clears throat> higher educational level for offering the tourism courses research orientation is very essential aspects for tourism in our country india in our state assam also but it is very unfortunate to say about that the research orientation is tourism is not so at par as it would be at the recent times the it is <clears throat> it is very pathetic that so many academician and so many uh <coughs> social scientists have, have, have do not have any uh, research orientations they do not but they have not thought about the tourism is a subject and uh, how or how the research can be practiced or research can be uh, exercised in that in this type of subject but the tourism research is a very essential subject that is practiced that is exercised in the different countries of the world specifically developed nation european nations and more recently the southeast asian nations they have very well uh, <clears throat> practiced and exercised their research in various specifically cultural heritage tourism folk tourism food tourism etc etc so when i had invited a speaker and panelist in uh, siang mai thailand in 2019 for a world tourism <coughs> conference so i have <coughs> admired i have <coughs> appreciated by all the delegates because i have presented the paper on the bell metal craft industry of portivari of assam on how it can be utilized as a cultural heritage tourism resources for assam and they have very <coughs> eagerly asked me the questions that the different types of or so many heritages this cultural heritages or the uh, natural heritages <coughs> are existent in these regions of uh, our country india and why it, uh, it all these have not utilized for the promotion and development tourism and why it is not taken as a serious uh, taken as a, uh, taken as a serious or taken as a very major subjects in higher educational institutions of uh, our country india and our states so these are the aspects so we have about i had visited both of these countries and i had particularly seen that their research orientation their thoughts their philosophy regarding the tourism studies are very different and very higher in comparison to the our point of view of study in india so next slide <coughs> sorry sorry professional prospects <clears throat> professional prospects is already you have known about it called uh, professional prospects so through tourism it might be marked as a uh, flavor gusting <coughs> number 41 in the top countries visited worldwide but it is sought to get better in years to come so tourism sector in india has seen a slump in the last few years but it has managed to pull its weight and so 
an annual growth rate of 4.3% in June 2013. So growth rate is uh, not very higher in comparison to the other nations or our countries. Uh, in our countries, like in our neighboring countries, Bhutan, Nepal, China, and also Sri Lanka, they have uh, performed better than our country, India, regarding the tourism aspects. <clears throat> So according to B.A. Pon Malil, Pon Malil was a very uh, social scientist of the world. He has also, he, was, he, has, also, uh, he has been also famed as a tourism expert in the world. Uh, according to him, B.A. Pon Malil, travel and tourism is one of the largest foreign access earners, providing employment directly and indirectly to millions of people worldwide through many service areas, the many service areas. The main service areas, those the uh, tourist, or sorry, the who those who have regard to associated with the tourism industry, those who have always have a dream to get employment in the tourism industry, in a state or central government, under state or central government, or a private uh, enterprises. Some uh, career options are like that. The professional prospect, like the, the tourism department employee under the Ministry of Tourism, under the <coughs> Directorate of Tourism, different corporations, state corporations, Assam Tourism Development Corporation, India Tourism Development Corporation Center, the airline staff, airlines, airline, aviation, civil aviation staffs, tour operators, travel agents, tourist guides is very essential feature, very essential aspect for a tourism industry, front office manager. Transport official, information assistant. So the tourist information official, the assistant tourist information official, tour guides, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, all these have <coughs> uh, scope. All these have scope for a <coughs> new newcomer or <coughs> who have <coughs> regardless joined in the tourism industry. For their these are the scope for getting a job and the person opting for a career in travel and tourism must be are going and friendly and the persons who have the persons who have some special characteristics they have they should have some soft skills they should be outgoing and friendly with good communication and presentation skills ability to manage or handle people, verbal fluency, up-to-date knowledge about the available facilities, organizing skills and aptitude for languages, organizing skills and aptitude for languages. These are the qualities, these are the characteristics of a job seeker of a tourism industry. Professional prospects of tourism in Assam. Professional prospects of tourism in Assam are same as I have said or I have mentioned in uh, for India as also, but professional aspects in tourism, uh, tourism in Assam is not so <coughs> uh, uh, are, are not so very large in comparison to other states because the tourism industry is very confined to only our the in in, in case of public sectors confined to only the national parks, wildlife sanctuaries, and some like this called Shivohagar and also the some Mazulis and etc. etc. But the Assam tourism in the in, in case of government level, Assam tourism has been initiated different tourism policies, <coughs> tourism policies during the different times of the last uh, two or three decades. But implementation or execution of the policies are not uh, <coughs> not so well because we have always concentrated or we have always attempted attentive, we are always attentive regarding the tourism perspective in Assam, in case of Assam, that we have only the Kajidanga National Park, we have only the seven national parks or a lot of wildlife sanctuaries and a lot of resorts, lots of cottages and a lot of uh, travel agencies, tour operators, they have connected with the tourism government department, public enterprises and also the uh, NGOs. But why the tourism industry is not <coughs> developed 
it is not developed at par as compared to the other, other states of India. In Meghalaya, it's far better than Assam because our resources are not specifically utilized for the tourism purpose. We do not have any vision. We do not have any knowledge about how it can be built because professional projects are open, widely open when or while the resources are utilized for the tourism purposes. Our various heritage sites are even not developed as a tourism site, like this Hurchi, Hurja Parahar of Gualpara, Madan Kamdev of this Kamdev districts. These are the archaeological or historical heritage sites. It is very unfortunate that yet it is not developed for the tourism purposes. Shivohagar, <coughs> basically some uh, works are done by the Assam tourism, but not so far as <coughs> it would be. So there should be some proper orientations. There should be some proper uh, planning and strategy and action plan that has been initiated, that has been uh, exercised, that has been executed, implemented by the Assam tourism with the help of this call private agencies and, and uh, this is called a private pub, public partnership mode, PPPP mode. Only opening some uh, some uh, resorts, only opening some that's called sound and lights uh, shows and only some uh, uh, organizing some festivals. It is not at that time. So cultural ethnic tourism, some to be festival or a lot of festivals are <coughs> held in the winter seasons in Assam. But proper orientation from the point of view of tourism is not there. So this is so only the only the prop, only the nature tourism, wildlife tourism is very popular. But in comparison the heritage tourism, cultural heritage tourism, folklore, ethnic tourism, religious tourism, that type of tourism or the rural tourism in the policy they have been strong. But in the river tourism. But in the tea tourism, tea tourism in Upper Assam is also very uh, uh, beautifully existed, but not proper orientation is there. So for proper orientation, there should be some planning, there should be some action plan, there should be some strategies, like infrastructural development, like publicities, hmm, like uh, awareness among the common people. So performing arts or the all this folklore or the there are different tribal communities living in the hills and plains of Assam. They have generous various folklore components like the Zunbil Mela. Zunbil Mela never be initiated or promoted as a cultural tourism uh, event for uh, from the point of view of tourism. So professional prospects will be <coughs> larger while it should be or the tourism industry would be properly planned, managed, and also the systematic circuit development is very essential, like the cultural heritage tourism circuit. Under the cultural heritage tourism, there are a lot of this called folklore heritage tourism, religious heritage tourism, the ethnic heritage tourism, these all are the common. So all these orientations are very new in these regards. So next slide, please. Hello. Uh, so sorry to interrupt you, sir, but uh, we are far exceeding the time okay, limit, okay, actually. Okay, okay, okay. So we are so, already for okay, no, minutes. Okay. So beyond. thank to you. Already all of the aspects are mentioned, or all of the aspects are delivered. So I am very grateful to all of you to given me this opportunity to deliver something new insights and uh, new knowledge. I don't know whatever, what, how many types of or what type of knowledge I have given, I am, I am able to give you. But the orientation, but the point of view is different. And another point is lastly, this is called the ethnic this identity. That is the preservation of cultural heritage or natural heritage. The proper development of the uh, socio-economic, socio-cultural aspects are, must be exercised through the promotion and development of tourism. So tourism education is very essential in this regard. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay.
Hello. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us today. Uh, since uh, we don't have any more time with you, uh, I would like to um, end the session. And uh, uh, we would love to have you again with us. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.